Thank you. Thank you. That's another one from the blooper reel. Did you catch it? I captured it. Oh, cool. So the Always Connected PC is finally here. Both Microsoft and Qualcomm are claiming that you get insane battery life in addition to an Always Connected profile. That's a very tall order and I decided to test it from the most complicated city in the world, New York City. They sent me a unit. They were nice enough to sponsor this video. Let's see how it goes. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's talk about the HP NV X2. Starting our test off in Queens, we have 100% on the battery, and we're using the Sprint network for this video. It's been great so far, mainly because, well, you get free data up until the end of the year on this computer, so that's all great. Let's see how the battery life performs throughout the day as it's always connected. currently in New York City's Penn Station. I commute by here every day. And so far, even though connectivity in this particular station is not the best, we're still getting full signal bars, and battery life is still 100%. We began our journey pretty much nearly 40 to 50 minutes ago. So one of the coolest parts about the HP NVX2 is literally the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 powering it. It allows for newer, slimmer form factors because you don't need as much machinery anymore. So you can walk around New York City, my favorite sector of Midtown, in this beautiful sunny day, and it feels like if you're carrying a notepad. It's that light, and you have the advantage that you've got pen input for whenever you need it. Currently in Times Square in one of the busiest sectors of the city. A lot of tourism, a lot of sights to see, and uh, data speeds have been great. And believe it or not, it is 2 p.m. and yeah, it's sunny like crazy, but we still have 100% battery life. Let's keep going. beautiful Bryant Park, another one of my favorite areas in New York City, and there are other advantages to this HP NVX2. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. We've got four gigabytes of RAM. There's 128 gigs of expandable storage on this computer. It's got a 49 watt hour battery that's certified for up to 22 hours. And again, because of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor, we've got things like 802.11ac Wi-Fi, in addition to Bluetooth 5 for multiple devices to be connected to this computer. So, so far the performance has been great. Bryant Park is very crowded. Data speeds weren't necessarily that great, but it's understandable given the sector. But we're still at 100% battery life, and it is literally 2.38 p.m. We've got more places in New York City, so let's go. So we're currently in Grand Central Station. It is 3.30 p.m. We have got 91% battery. One of the coolest parts about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 is this is a fanless operation computer and it handles heat really well. In addition, the speed test so far looks great on the Sprint network. Here in Grand Central Station, it is very busy. So uh, definitely very reliable in all the sectors that we've been at in New York City. We're in 49th Street in a 19th floor in our office. It is 4.30 p.m. And uh, believe it or not, we still get great data speeds all the way up here on the Sprint LTE network. 
Even more interesting, this HP NVX2 doesn't really cut corners. The screen for me is great, 12.3 inch IPS LED at 1920 by 1280 so you get great resolution, and in addition to that it's super bright. If you've noticed all throughout the shoot we've remained at maximum brightness since we've begun, and believe it or not we are still at 89% battery, so definitely very power efficient and we've got more to go. For those of you that don't know, I rely heavily on Microsoft OneNote to get my work done. I type in my shot list and then I use the stylus to highlight every shot that I'm doing. It makes my life a lot easier. So far, my experience with the HP NVX2 has been really positive mainly because of the stylus. It provides very little latency of any and it's very smooth with Windows Ink. Probably the coolest part, once you detach this tablet from its keyboard, it just weighs one and a half pounds and you've got full-blown Windows 10 here. It is 5 p.m., we are still at the office, and believe it or not, we still have 79% battery life left. Speaking of Windows, this computer ships to you with Windows 10 S out of the box. I decided to take the plunge, see how far it could go, and uh, update it to Windows 10 Pro, which was free, quick, it just took a few minutes. So far, I am impressed. It plays everything just fine, whether you're using your typical applications like Microsoft Office or the Edge browser, it breezes through menus just fine. This is not a graphics-intensive game playing computer, but it does play the basic games just fine. I do a lot of content consumption. That's my favorite thing to do. So if you're into Netflix or Spotify, cool thing about this computer is it's got dual firing speakers that are very crisp, very loud as well. Uh, I do a lot of YouTube viewing, so for me this has been a great experience, particularly for that. The company is dubbing as the speed you need, and also the boldest evolution that we've seen. Other important details when it comes to ports and peripherals. That keyboard that's detachable is also full size and backlit, and the trackpad is significantly large. In addition, there is one USB-C port that provides power delivery for charging, and there is a USB-A adapter in the box. In addition to that, there is a 3.5mm headphone jack on the other side, there is a 13 megapixel camera at the back, and the front-facing 5 megapixel camera also provides Windows Hello support for biometrics. Currently in the New York City subway, the last stop of the E-Train World Trade Center. We decided to come downtown to test it from here. Obviously remember, if you're in the New York City subway, data speeds depend on the station and rarely between stations. So definitely this is what I was expecting from the performance. The most interesting part is that we're still at 70% battery life and it is 8.05 p.m. downtown the oculus station one of my favorite spots data speeds here are crazy on sprints lte network we've got 60 megabits down upload speeds are not necessarily that great but that's understandable in this area most important 70 percent battery life again there is more to test but so far no matter where i've taken it in new york it's performed great It is 8.45 p.m. We are at the World Trade Center Memorial in downtown Manhattan, and the HP NVX2 still has 68% battery life. I have to tell you, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 and Windows 10 have impressed me in our first impressions, but obviously our full review will come very soon to tell you more. There is a link in the description if you want to learn more about the Always Connected PC. My advice to you, go to a Microsoft store near you and check them out. While you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.